telling time to the nearest minute. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to tell time to the nearest minute. I will begin this lesson by modeling a problem, and then you will have the opportunity to complete a practice problem independently. Today's objective is, I can tell time to the nearest minute using an analog clock. This is an analog clock. An analog clock has an hour hand and a minute hand. These clocks are usually hung up on the wall in your classrooms. The opposite of an analog clock is a digital clock. Digital clocks display just numbers, and you can find these on your iPad or computers. <clears throat> we have learned that an analog clock has both an hour hand and a minute hand. The hour hand is represented by a short arrow, and the minute hand is represented by a long arrow. In this picture, the red arrow is pointing to the hour hand, and the blue arrow is pointing to the minute hand. The first step to take when telling time to the nearest minute is determining the hour. First, find the hour hand, which is shorter, on the clock. Then, ask yourself this question. Is the hour hand between two numbers? If so, choose the number it most recently passed. In this clock, the hour hand is between the 11 and 12. The hour hand just passed the 11. The next step is to write down the hour. The hours come first, before the colon. This clock shows the hour hand between the 11 and 12, so the hour is 11. Now that we have found the hour, we need to determine the minutes. First, find the minute hand, long, on the clock, there are four dashes in between each number that represent the minutes. An easier and quicker way to count the minutes is by intervals of five. Start at the 12 and count by fives until you reach the eight, which is where the minute hand is pointing to. Let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Stop when you reach the eight. We have now counted the minutes shown on this clock. I stopped at the eight because that is where the minute hand is pointing to. We counted 40 minutes. Remember, we have already found the hour, which is 11. Now, I need to write down the minutes we counted, which is 40. The minutes go on the right side of the colon. This analog clock shows the time 11.40. Now that we have completed the steps for telling time to the nearest minute on an analog clock, I want you to try telling the time shown on this clock. Remember to follow the steps. This analog clock shows the time 8.05. The hour hand is just past the 8, and the minute hand is pointing directly at the 1, which represents 5 minutes. This clock does not show 8.01. Why does this clock not show the time 8.01? Explain to me why this clock shows 8.05, but not 8.01. For your answer, you should have had something along the lines of this clock shows 8.05 because the minute hand is pointed at the 1. The number 1 on the clock represents 5 minutes, which is why the minutes are 5 and not 1. Great job working through the practice problems and completing the lesson. 
This lesson, we have learned how to tell time to the nearest minute using an analog clock.